Hello, hello, hello. If you are new here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. So it is arguably my favorite holiday of the year this year. I live for Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because there's like really no expectation other than to spend time with people that you care about, family, friends, whatever it may be and eat good food and watch sports on TV and just like relax. That's really all Thanksgiving is about, at least in my family, that's what it's been about all growing up. So I just love Thanksgiving. There's no pressure, there's no expectations. You just come, you sit, you eat some food. Now I have also never been the one making Thanksgiving, so maybe I'm speaking out of turn. It's actually extremely stressful, I don't know. But this year will be the first year that I will not be spending Thanksgiving with my family. The first time in my entire life that I will not be spending Thanksgiving with my family. So I decided to only go home for Christmas this year, which is a huge adjustment. I um, have divorced parents, so most holidays are spent in multiple locations, eating multiple meals with lots of different family members. And this year I was fully prepared to spend Thanksgiving alone this year. I had picked out uh, the new Priscilla movie, which I'm so excited to see. I had picked that out to go and see it in theaters alone with myself on Thanksgiving. I was gonna eat some mashed potatoes and some mac and cheese that I made for myself and have myself a solo dolo Thanksgiving. But then I, if you've kept up with my channel, you've heard me talk about some of my new friends that I've been making and actually have a great Thanksgiving planned now. So I'm actually gonna do the turkey trot, which is a 5K on the morning of Thanksgiving. I never thought that I would be the person that ran on Thanksgiving morning. I always thought those people were absolutely psychotic and I still don't know how I feel about myself doing it because I am not a runner. I have never been a runner. I am very athletic. I am very active. I work out a ton. I have never and I will never be a runner, okay? So we're gonna see how that goes, but I'm doing it with my friend Claire and I'm, I'm excited to be doing it with her. It's gonna be a good, fun Thanksgiving morning with her, if nothing else at all. I may die during the 5K, but all the rest is good. And then after that, we're gonna do a, a Friendsgiving on Thanksgiving, which I think is so sweet and so fun and it's gonna be a couple of us transplants from the friend group that are still left here in the city and we're gonna do Thanksgiving together, Thanksgiving dinner together that night. So I'm excited for that. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be different. I'm excited to not be spending Thanksgiving alone, but I also am aware that that is the reality for a lot of people and I know the holidays can be extremely stressful and can have a very negative connotation for a lot of people. So I, I don't take that lightly and thinking about how this holiday has transpired and how I now have these plans, it's just made me incredibly thankful for this year and what this year has meant to me. And if you have been watching my channel for a while or have watched any of my earlier videos, then this channel started on the premise of me changing my life in 2023. That was the entire purpose of me starting to make these videos when I was doing Whole30, me starting to share my alcohol-free journey, me starting to share some of my mental health kind of transformations and things like that. This whole year has been about transformation for me and I think that reflecting on Thanksgiving has just made me insanely thankful to myself for what I've been able to accomplish this year and Obviously so many other people have had to do with that and circumstances have had to do with that, but none of this would have happened had I not taken the initiative to change my life. And I cannot stress enough how possible it is to change the course of your life 
if you just start making baby steps every single day. My life is nowhere near where I want it to be, but it is so much better than it was. Me this time last year was a completely different person in a completely different headspace, living a completely different life. And I do not say that lightly, and I am not exaggerating when I say that. Like, I have changed so many aspects of my life internally and externally to begin to put myself on the path that I want to be on. And this Thanksgiving just has me like insanely thankful for that. So I wanna share some of the biggest things that I am thankful for this year that I have made possible in my life or that have happened for me in my life. So first and foremost, if you've watched my channel at all, you know that a huge thing for me this year was not drinking alcohol. I It started out as a 30 day challenge and now has grown into a year long challenge and will potentially be a I may never drink again thing. I don't know the future, but I am so, so, so incredibly thankful for deciding to stop drinking, for the support that has come from me not drinking and for the changes in my life that have come for me not drinking, I don't think I knew, definitely this time last year, I had no idea that I would be sober <laughs> a year from now, but I had no idea what a difference it would make in my life. I had no idea what a massive impact it would have on me personally, professionally, emotionally, spiritually, like it has affected every aspect of my life. And I had someone from my past ask me the other day, you know, how's my not drinking going? And I was like, I am hands down the best version of myself that I have ever been. And I have never liked myself more than I like myself right now. And I can't stress enough that there is so much more that I have to work on, so much more that I want out of life, so many more tweaks and changes that I would like to make to live this life that I have in my head, right? But I am genuinely proud and happy with where I am right now and who I am right now. And I 1000% attribute 98% of that to me not drinking. And if you have not watched any of my alcohol-free videos, I highly, highly recommend you do. I actually went back and watched my quitting drinking a year of transformation videos. I'll link it below, but I went back and rewatched that two days ago actually, because that was kind of the video where I came out and like decided that I was not gonna drink for a year. And listening to that girl talk and how excited she was and the rhymes and reasons for why she quit drinking. And then here I am almost a year later and it's just incredible to me that all of those things that I thought would happen are happening. All of those changes that I, I was hoping for and dreaming of are actually coming true. And I just, I'm so proud, <laughs> so proud of this change that I've made in my life and incredibly thankful for the decision on my part, but also the support from everyone else around me, especially the support on this platform. The comments and stories and encouragement that I have received on YouTube from all of y'all I cannot stress enough what it means to me. I cannot stress enough how much I love connecting with y'all, especially on this topic. So first and foremost, incredibly thankful for my sobriety. Obviously, incredibly thankful for my move to Chicago. I did not come into the year thinking that I would be living in Chicago, Illinois by Thanksgiving 2023. It's actually wild to me. I had toyed around with you know, different places in the US that I potentially wanted to move to. And, you know, Chicago's always been on the list for me, but I didn't see it happening for me in 2023. And I cannot put into words how important this move has been for me. It has pushed me so far outside of my comfort zone. It has taught me a ton about myself, my insecurities, my strengths, my weaknesses. Like it has really highlighted so much about me as an adult and me becoming who I am and learning to love what I love regardless of what other people think or feel or want to do. 
building a community around who I am now versus who I used to be. Chicago has granted me the ability to do that, to meet new people, try new things, start new hobbies, create new habits. I am my own person here separate from all of the surroundings and people, places, and things that I have been around for the last 10 plus years, I am able to fully be myself here. And I think it's shined a light on some things that I need to work on, but also given me an immense amount of confidence to just become who I am, who I want to be. And I'm so incredibly thankful for it. I'm so incredibly thankful for the city. I'm so incredibly thankful for the move. I'm thankful for my family that made it possible, that helped me get to this point. I'm just, this was a big one for me and I am very, very thankful, very thankful for Chicago. Also, like, ah, uh, also my job, like, I am so thankful for the job that I have now. I, this time last year, I was working, I don't even know if you wanna call it working, like I was half-assing being a real estate agent, half-assing working for my family's company. I hated every moment of what I did professionally and I was flat broke. I was just spending money, was not making money, spending money to try to make money, like nothing was working. I was in a headspace that was just like shit poor. Work was bad this time last year. And then I got another job at the start of the year at a startup, ended up absolutely hating that as well. But it gave me the ability to get some good stuff on my resume and get some good experience and catapulted me into the job that I'm in now and I have never been more thankful for the work environment that I am in right now. The people that I work with are all right around my age. They're all incredibly intelligent but also incredibly supportive. I feel very supported at my job. I feel very heard at my job. I feel very understood at my job. I feel challenged at my job. I feel secure at my job and that is a feeling I have not had in a very 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 long time and I do not take it for granted. I also understand what the landscape is is out there right now in the job market. I LinkedIn is a scary place to be. I have stopped scrolling and <laughs> refused to scroll because it is it is it is sad and I understand that and I do not take it for granted the job that I have, the coworkers that I have, the work environment that I have. I am, I feel very blessed to have the, the job that I have right now. It's not even about the money. It's not even about the potential moves up on the ladder. I am just thankful for security right now and I am thankful to enjoy what I do and work with people whom I enjoy and I do not take that for granted and it took a lot to get me here I mean it was probably my biggest fear of 2023 was what if I do not figure this job thing out like I'm screwed <laughs> I've got to start making money I have got to get a job that I have some sort of like path forward in I was really really struggling this time last year brokest I've ever been in my entire life in debt, 100% in debt. Really had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Really had no idea what my path forward was. Not sure if I would get a job that I respected at all because I didn't have the resume to back it up. I was just not in a good headspace professionally. And like I said earlier, one foot in front of the other baby steps, saying yes to opportunities, yes to conversations, yes to interviews, yes to mentors. Like I was just saying yes. One thing led to another and I ended up where I am and I'm, I'm eternally grateful, eternally grateful for everyone that helped me get here, everyone that encouraged me and, and every opportunity that has allowed me to get here, whether I understood it at the moment or not, I am incredibly incredibly thankful to be where I'm at right now. How can I talk about Chicago and not talk about my new friends? I am so thankful 
for these friends that I'm making here. It took me a minute. It took me a minute. I talked about it in my making friends in a new city video. Making friends as an adult is not easy. It's a lot harder than I anticipated it being and it has taken me a good August, September, October, November for almost four full months to like really start to feel like I had friends here, especially girlfriends, like solid four months before I'm like confident to say that I've got a couple good friends here. And I am so thankful for these friends because these are friends that I am creating based around the person that I am today, around the life that I'm living here in Chicago. And I'm so thankful to be meeting people that like to do different things, that have different perspectives, that come from different backgrounds. I'm not involved in the same people, places, and things that I have been for the last 10 years, and I'm incredibly thankful for that. I'm trying different things and hanging out with different types of people and having different conversations and you know, just different perspectives and it's really, really cool and I'm incredibly thankful for it because I could have just continued doing the status quo and living the same lifestyle and hanging out with the same types of people and I don't know that I would feel as inclined or inspired to explore these other parts of my personality and other parts of what I like to do and who I potentially want to be if I wasn't meeting these other types of people that were kind of opening the door to those different people, places, and things. So I'm incredibly thankful. I feel so thankful to be going to this Friendsgiving on Thanksgiving. I just like didn't expect that for myself this year. Like I said, I was fully prepared to spend Thanksgiving alone and it means the absolute world to me to be spending it with friends. And I'm incredibly thankful for that and I'm excited to see what this time next year looks like and what the community that I've built around myself potentially is going to be. Obviously when I talk about my new friends though, I am forever thankful for my old friends. I am forever thankful to have these people that have known me through so many different phases of my life, that have seen me at my absolute worst, have seen me getting to my absolute best and have loved me through it all and still continue to love me. I will never be able to replace that history. I will never be able to replicate these friendships and I am so eternally grateful for still talking to my old friends on a regular basis, for making trips to go and see them and making sure that we stay up to date with each other on each other's lives. I, I know how difficult maintaining adult friendships is, especially with distance in, in the mix and I'm very, very thankful to have friends that I want to be intentional with but that also want to be intentional with me and I don't take that for granted and I know that it's a rarity to have friendships like that and I am incredibly incredibly grateful you know who you are and I I love you to pieces with this new city and these new people and these new places and these new things, y'all, my hobbies this year, I'm so, I think this is the first time in my adult life that I have had, honest to God, hobbies, like adult hobbies in my life. I think this is the first time I have ever had adult hobbies that make me genuinely happy and excited. Obviously what I do with y'all every single week filming these videos and getting to blurt out my streams of consciousness and build this community with y'all and have these conversations in the comments with y'all. I. I feel incredibly blessed to do this and to have people that want to connect with me about what I talk about. I feel really, really, really excited about where this could potentially go and, and the connections that I can continue to make with people and hopefully the impact that I can have on y'all and y'all can have on me and that 